So the first thing we want to do is uh, start with the camera head. Uh, in your case, it will be the eyepiece, and we're going to move that so that it's directly above the mirror here. Uh, so we'll send that to the front of the instrument, as you can see here, and lock that down. And the second step will be to actually turn on the instrument, and we want to be able to move the laser so that when we place it above this entrance prism, it's bouncing off of this reflective surface in a way that it creates as light a laser intensity as possible at this junction um, where the divider between the prisms is. So as I move that around, you can see the light gets darker and brighter. We want it as bright as possible, and then we're going to lock that down. That should get us into a ballpark for once we decide to start measuring. Um, the next step is pretty simple. We just want to drop a few pieces of fluid right here. And I want these set screws that are our leveling feet for the CS to be up off of the glass to begin with. And once we place it on here, we want to make sure that the prisms are being placed directly on top of the fluid. Now while I'm doing this, I'm holding the front of the gasp. The reason for this is because the leveling feet are not currently set. We want to hold it in a way where the prisms are making direct contact with the glass and fluid, even though the leveling feet are not set yet. At this point, I can begin to set the leveling feet so that I stop right when they touch the glass. So that'll be the first one. And again, I'm just slowly tightening that leveling foot until it just touches the top surface of the glass. And I'll do the same for both so that it's even. Now at this point, we can see with our image that there's a little bit of laser light up here. This lets me know that something is actually entering the camera head, or in your case it will be the eyepiece. So laser light is passing through the glass, but we don't see anything. Uh, this leads me to believe that the mirror is probably out of position. So what we'll do next is take this thumb screw here and loosen it or tighten it until we begin to see the light come through on the actual image here. At this point we can see a few of what looks like maybe fringes. So while we're in this location, I'm going to move the tilt on the laser and see if we can get a good image out of it. And what I'm seeing is that these are not becoming fringes, which leads me to believe that we might not be in the correct location. So I'm going to move the mirror at the front of the instrument again until we see the other grouping of light that we have down here. Now this may be more like the fringes. And as we turn the tilt assembly on the laser again, we will see them either diminish in color or become more intense in color until we come up with this. And here are our actual fringes. So what I've done so far is I've set the location of the eyepiece directly above the mirror. I've set the laser so that it's in a ballpark for where it should be. I've put the instrument on the glass and while holding it in a way that it was level, I then set the leveling screws back here to allow it to actually stay in a stabilized level area. Once I did that, I looked for light somewhere within this eyepiece, and then I changed the mirror until we got a bright image there, at which point I changed the tilt assembly on the laser until fringes became uh, robust and easy to see. Okay, and the measurement? The measurement on here.
is approximately 40 degrees and this is a 3.1 wedge constant which if we look at our calibration documents 40 degrees comes up as 2351 psi and on here we have written our 2350 psi So this tells us that we are well calibrated and measuring properly for the cow plate.